something will happen if Jesus sees you and he sees you right now. And Jesus said, don't cry. And today I want to tell you that Jesus cares about you. His heart goes out to you. Don't allow your past to destroy your future. I believe God has a plan for your life. And this message will help you. In Jesus' name to get one step closer to your divine destination. In Luke chapter 7, there is a magnificent story especially for you. Listen and be blessed. Soon afterward, Jesus went to a town called Nine. And his disciples and a large crowd went along with him. So many people followed Jesus. They were astonished, some were afraid. They wanted to see what is this Jesus going to do right now because they saw all the miracles. They were hungry for more of God. I continue. As he approached the town gate, a dead person was being carried out. The only son of his mother and she was a widow and a large crowd from the town was with her. When the Lord saw her, his heart went out to her and he said, don't cry. Jesus tells you today, don't cry. Then he went up, touched the coffin, and those carrying the stood still, he said, Young man, I say to you, get up. Get up. Get up. The dead man sat up and began to talk, and Jesus gave him back to his mother. When the Lord saw her, his heart went out to her, and he said, don't cry. Now, you have to understand this lady. She had a wonderful life. She had a husband, a son, and they were happy. But one day, her husband died. And that was a terrible day because he was her companion, her friend, her insurance, you could say, because a woman by herself, a widow, was helpless, had no rights in that time. So now she was a widow. But at least she had a son. But one day, this son died too. The Bible doesn't tell us what happened, but she was in this terrible situation. Her husband had died, now her son died. She lost her future, she lost her hope, she lost everything. And now she's crying and crying until she has no more tears. But one day, Jesus happened to be in the neighborhood. I don't believe in it happened to be in chance. I think it was written in the heavenly calendar for this lady. This is your time. It was no coincidence that Jesus was there and he saw her. And when Jesus sees you, something will happen. Something will happen if Jesus sees you. And he sees you right now at this moment and your name is written in the calendar of Jesus that something will happen today in your life. For Jesus, truly, he really feels your despair, your hopelessness. He feels it and he knows you and he feels with you, he empathizes with you. So you. Don't quit. Hold on to life. For something will happen. When Jesus sees you, something will happen. Don't quit. Stay in it. And Jesus said, don't cry. For Jesus wants to bring a solution in your life. He doesn't say, I don't want you to cry anymore. But he wants to start with the solution. That you're looking to Jesus and no longer at your problems. For you cannot trust your emotions. They bring you everywhere. Like my daughter and me, one day we were at the beach with our kite and the wind was going everywhere and nowhere. That's what your emotions will do with you. And today at this moment I pray that Jesus will calm down your emotions so you, that you can see him. Tears are not bad, but emotions out of remorse, out of hopelessness. We want to wipe them away so that you can see Jesus. Amen? Do you believe? That Jesus sees you at this moment. Jesus tells you, don't cry. He doesn't say you cannot cry anymore because tears can be important. They are a part of your healing process. But they have to be the right tears. And your emotions must be stable so God can be working in your life. That you can see the hand of God in your life. And today I want to tell you that Jesus cares about you. His heart goes out to you. Actually, it says the most inner part of him, they were moved, they were in agony, they were in pain because he saw your situation. And today, 
He wants to start mending your heart, your situation. I don't know what he will be doing, but trust him. I pray that Jesus will touch you at this moment in Jesus' name. Be blessed and stay blessed.